a lot of you are going to be like, well, hot this 3596 West 60th property is bad fucking ass. It's turnkey is all get up. Let me buy that some I don't want to do the lead stuff on my own with 99% of the other Cleveland inventory out there needing it done. That's a lot of friggin' work. I'm glad to see Holton Wise already did all that work for me. Great! Glad we're on the same page. Would you like to do an interview? Tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in this basement? blocking any landlord who didn't get their property lead certified from evicting a tenant until it was lead certified, right? She was doing that for quite a while. That was their uh, chosen way of enforcement. But uh, the problem with that uh, is uh, the Constitution of the United States of America, right? That that was a problem for her. Uh, and, uh, you know, some landlord groups sued uh, because she can't just make up fucking laws, right? So that is no longer an issue. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What is turnkey, right? What makes a property turnkey? More specifically, what makes a property in Cleveland turnkey, right? Because the answer to those two questions, what makes a property turnkey and what makes a property turnkey in Cleveland, they're going to be different, guys, right? Typically, turnkey is going to be a property that is either renovated to a rent-ready standard and ready for a tenant to move in or already renovated to a rent-ready standard and has a tenant, right? One of those two scenarios, you can call that turnkey, right? But if your property's in Cleveland, Ohio, you ain't turnkey yet if that's all you got. No. If your property's in Cleveland, Ohio, not only does it have to be renovated to a rent-ready standard, it also needed to have gone through a little bit of government hoops and hoopla to qualify for Cleveland's new lead-based paint hazard laws, right? And the property I have for you guys today is absolutely turnkey, and it's already been through those hoops, okay? 3596 West 60th, Cleveland, 44102, right? This bad boy's coming to you at a price point of $134,900, right? Two units, okay? The downstairs unit that has a long-term tenant. They're in there at way below market rent, right? Owner has not uh, jacked up their rent. He's just a nice cat, okay? But that's really an $850 unit. So I think the next owner of this particular property should make a move on that, right? It's it's not a charity. So th that rent's going to need to go up, right? As far as the vacant unit goes, though, that bad boy's going to bring in 900 And it is turnkey, baby. As you can see, it's looking beautiful, right? Right? My guys went in and renovated this sucker, and it is looking beautiful. Not only is it looking beautiful, not only is it going to rock and roll for cash paying or Section 8 tenants, this whole building has been lead certified. At this point of the video, my lovely production staff of uh, young strapping men has probably placed all the lead paperwork on the screen for you, right? This lead stuff, guys. This stuff's a big deal, okay? And there's a lot of work that goes involved. Various people with licenses have to do there. I mean, there's just a lot going on, right? Uh, the lead certification stuff, guys, has totally changed the game uh, in regards to what it is and what it does look like being a landlord or property manager in the city of Cleveland. Right. And the scariest and craziest thing about these lead laws and the lead certifications is the fact that most people in Cleveland don't know about them and or are ignoring them. Other real estate agents don't seem to understand the process. Many owners of properties don't understand the process. I've even seen property managers who don't understand the process, right? The laws and the rules, they're brand freaking new. And, you know, even the city itself, they're, they're still trying to work out the kinks and figure out exactly how they want to enforce this type of stuff. Uh, so the people that have kind of been floating under the radar and getting away with things, uh, in my opinion, they're going to be in for a rude awakening. It might take Cleveland a little while to figure out the best way they could punish them, right? For a while, uh, we had some crazy judge, some magistrate, batshit crazy magistrate, uh, who thought that uh, she was going to get away with 
um, just making up laws, right? She was uh, actually blocking any landlord who didn't get their property lead certified from evicting a tenant until it was lead certified, right? She was doing that for quite a while. That was their uh, chosen way of enforcement. But uh, the problem with that. Uh, is uh, the Constitution of the United States of America, right? That that was a problem for her. Uh, and, uh, you know, some landlord groups sued uh, because she can't just make up fucking laws, right? So that is no longer an issue. Uh, you know, they have to, to punish folks based upon the actual laws that are on the books uh, in the United States of America, right? But they're working through that. But guys, don't think the city of Cleveland is uh, going to let this slide or going to let people get away with this. People are going to get hammered hammered hard uh building violations right are criminal okay they're criminal misdemeanors right i'm not saying if you get a bunch of building violations and don't take care of them you're going to go to jail but technically uh jail time is a possibility uh it's very few and far between that people ever go to jail for building code violations but it has happened before in this area uh so don't take my words to tell you like no you gotta you gotta you gotta fix your building code violations or get arrested tomorrow i'm not fucking saying that guys but it is a possibility it is technically a misdemeanor right if you don't believe me i don't know talk to your friggin' lawyer bro i don't know what to tell you uh, the moral of the story is the people that have not been adhering to the building codes and not adhering to these lead paint things, oh boy, they're going to be in for a rude awakening. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next month, maybe not six months from now, but eventually Cleveland's going to figure it out and uh, it, they're going to be coming down hard on people in a way that's going to you know, actually uphold in the court of law, right? So if you guys are smart, you're going to get your existing properties lead certified, and you're going to be buying properties like this that are already lead certified, or you're going to be underwriting a big lead certification cost into any properties you buy that are not lead certified. Now, going through the lead certification process, folks, very, very complicated, but don't you worry. Your boy Jay Wise is here for you. After you finish watching this video, I want you to click the links below the video. If you're watching Holton Wise TV on YouTube, if you're watching Holton Wise TV on some other platform like TikTok or Threads or Truth Social or Rumble or Instagram or Face, man, or Twitter, which, which is like X. Now, we are on a lot of platforms. There's so many freaking platforms. You got these damn social media platforms, bro. Everyone, they're just like creating new ones every day, man. So It's a lot to keep up with, y'all. But anyway, wherever you're at, wherever you're watching this, at some point, where around in and around this fucking video i'm sure there's some fucking links okay i don't know exactly where the links are going to be because there's like again 50 goddamn platforms at this fucking point but at some point in time around the motherfucking video you're going to find some links and one of those links is going to take you to my lead certification video or you could just google cleveland lead certification program james wise cleveland lead certification program holton wise and it'll pop up right there on youtube easiest platform to use in my opinion uh and it's a half hour video y'all and i go through the nuts and the bolts of this stuff right it's very important whether you want to buy this property for me right now here, okay, it's irrelevant to how important it's going to be for you to, to pay attention to that lead stuff and actually watch that lead certification video. Because I assure you, that is the biggest change I've ever seen in the Cleveland real estate market uh, in my entire career. I've sold $200 million worth of properties with an average price per door of under 100000 So if you're at home, grab a freaking calculator, do the math. Under 100 k per door, and I've accumulated over $200 million in sales. That means I've sold a crap ton of property, guys. So I've been around to say my first rodeo, but I have never, ever, ever, ever seen something uh, that has had such an immediate change and impact and will have uh, for a, a long period of time, years to come, uh, on this industry in the city of Cleveland as this lead stuff, right? So get educated on that. And then after you do, I assure you, a lot of you are going to be like, well, hot damn, this 3596 West 60th property is bad fucking ass. It's turnkey as all get up. Let me buy that son bitch because I don't want to do the lead stuff on my own with 99% of the other Cleveland inventory out there needing it done. That's a lot of friggin' work. I'm glad to see Holton Wise already did all that work for me. Great. Glad we're on the same page, guys. Send your offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. You want to pay cash? Great. Send me an email. Include 3596 West 60th in the subject line, please. I need to know 
uh, what property you want to buy. As we previously discussed, I've sold over $200 million worth of properties uh, with an average price per door of under 100000 So that means like, we sell a very large amount of properties, guys. So if you're just like, yeah, yo, man, I won't buy that property. We ain't going to know what you're talking about, man. And we're going to be very disappointed in your communication skills, okay? And we might, at that point, have to write you off because we think you're a fucking idiot, right? So if everybody out there wants to show me they're serious, please, please, please. I can't believe I have to talk about this in the videos. But you guys would be shocked at how many emails we get from people like, oh, I want to buy the property, but they don't know the address. It's mind-numbing, folks. It really is. 3596 West 60th. Include that in your subject line. Tell me you want to buy it. Tell me how much you want to pay for it. If you want to pay cash, include your proof of funds. If you tell me you're paying cash, the proof of funds needs to have your name or your business name on it. Can't be a pre-approval from a hard money lender or like your cousin's bank account, okay? It's got to be you. Or uh, if you do want to finance it, great. Conventional financing is going to hold the most weight, so a pre-approval from a traditional lender. Uh, but we're not shutting the door on hard money lenders, but I know a lot of you cats out there, Y'all end up with like, you know, these pre-approval letters that say you're pre-approved for so-and-so's hard money loan company for, you know, a line of credit for up to $3 million, uh, but you don't have two fucking nickels to scrape together, and you have a net worth of like nine fucking dollars. Uh, so I know that's BS, and you ain't actually going to get uh, no $3 million lent to you, right? So if that's your only situation, odds are probably good. Uh, you're probably not going to get very far in this transaction. But those people with cash who actually have the cash in their own bank account, or those people who've actually actually been pre-approved through a traditional lender. We want to talk to you. We want to get down and dirty. We want to sell you a Cleveland turnkey property. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. All right. Yeah, I don't know how he got down here, but he clearly lives down here. Would you like to do an interview? Tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in this basement? Will they let you out? Alright, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. We got the key. It's in the door. Okay. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> I'll lock it and I'll throw this back in the lockbox. Isn't that crazy stuff? Yeah. It's unnecessary. Could have just put, you know, a step there. Yeah, well, you know, I think the reason why there's not is because this is supposed to be something on the driveway. Somehow. Somehow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.